Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm here to help you with the decision that you've already made. If you had to write a check for what your family's safety was worth, you probably couldn't write the check. This is easy. When you guys learn from me, I'm gonna make you the most dangerous son of a bitches on planet Earth. I mean it. I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires. I would be something better. Energy got a fire in my soul to keep burning. A pain that keep hurting. A curse is emerging. Feel the fire. So listen, number one, what I want you guys to know, and this is important, you guys go and have a seat because you're good. And I want to tell you guys I love you and I appreciate that. I want to change your life, okay? Um, I want to tell you guys the same thing that you guys are doing right now. You're like, Andy, I just had the courage to stand up for what I believe in. I had a dream and I fought for it, okay? So I just want, I just want you to know you're going to have the same opportunity that I had and you're going to be in the same place that I was at. And then right now, you're going to decide, and I'm going to give you some things that are really going to help you. Um, training is something you do every day. It's not something that's like a one-time event. So like you may be here today, and you're like, dude, that event really fired me up. Dude, I'm fired up every day because this is what I do every day. Like, I'm always in this, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys how you're going to get ahead of everybody. So I want everybody to write down life, okay? This is super important. I want you to understand what life does to you. Life makes a lot of people burn out. Okay, life literally burns people out every day. Why are some of you in here writing stuff down right now? Why did some of you write down life? Why did some of you not write it down? A lot of people think slow, act slow, believe slow. They just move slow. Like, dude, they're never really where they are. You guys are in an opportunity right now in this room where you guys can become millionaires. And I'm not playing. Like, I'm so, and you say, why, Andy? It's gonna take, shut your mouth. What, you don't wanna do the hard work? Get out of here, go be lazy. If you don't wanna do the hard work, do the easy work. You know what the easy work is? Broke. You know what the easy work is? Nobody looks up to you. You know what the easy work is? You're nobody's mentor. Dude, listen, I got one goal with you guys, and it's not to teach you to make money. I'll do that. I think that's actually quite easy. The hard thing is getting you to be a freaking leader. It's the hardest thing that I'll ever teach you to do. So what does a leader do? A leader, number one, keeps their word. Okay, so rule number one is what do we know that successful people have? Discipline. Guys, if you want to get motivated, if you're looking for motivation, you guys can turn on YouTube videos all day long. You guys can go watch content every time you don't feel like doing it. I'm going to tell you this. Discipline will be the only thing that will keep you pushing through when you don't feel like doing something. Only leaders have discipline. So discipline. This right here is the key, the pillar, the foundation to everything in life, whether you get it or you don't. Discipline in a marriage. Discipline in being a parent. Discipline in, in having a best friend. Discipline in, hey, Hey, and I said keep your word. When I wake up every morning at 5 o'clock when that alarm goes off, I get up. I don't need my wife to tell me. I don't need to know somebody to nudge me. Listen, dude, when you're a leader, you operate two different ways. I want to ask you guys how you operate. I'm going to bounce around a lot because I got a lot of stuff I want to share with you and I got a short amount of time. By the way, you guys got a short life. You got a lot to do. So I suggest you fall in love with learning really quick. Okay, stop wasting your days. So every morning that I wake up, I think about who bet against me. Okay, everybody right now, I want you to write down one person in your life that said something really hateful to you, said something that really hurt you, that was somebody that said something that really pissed you off. Go ahead and write it down. And by the way, if you, don't, if you can't write something down right now, you ain't been living life. You're not going to talk like you used to talk. You're not going to have the same language. You're not going to have the same focus. You're going to be focusing on different stuff now. Your body's going to start looking different. Dude, like you just woke up, you're going to get serious. But when you start doing this, like people that you are with currently in your, in your life right now, I just want to just fair warning, like you've been put on notice, that 95% of them will not be okay with that. Your biggest fans, do you guys like what I do? Yes. You guys came after my change. You get it? Yes. Okay. There was, a, there was an Instagram video that I played this morning. Okay. If anybody watched the first video I dropped today on Instagram, and it said I had to move past my family. Okay, and I went and I joined my chosen family. I need you guys to understand something, okay? When, when you go to do things, see, people have put you in a box. They have put boundaries on you. Listen, I, a lot of people put boundaries on themselves. They put boundaries on themselves. Now they put it on you. And now they, are you guys twins? Okay, all right. These guys look like twins. But, he, but he's a little bigger. All right, anyways, no big deal. I got two twins. I was like, these guys twins? I'm like, that's cool. But you, I would tell people you're twins. I'd be like, we're twins. Hey, but I want you guys to know something that literally, like, like the people that are with you now probably aren't going to be okay with you. By the way, when you tell them that you're knocking doors and you're selling alarms and you're all fired up, you know what they're going to tell you? You're stupid. So I'm going to tell you guys something, just so you understand this. How do I know that? 
Because at 18 years old, I was a loser. I had no discipline. Nobody believed in me. By the way, I'm a first generation wealthy family. First gen, you guys are gonna be first gen, some of you. I want, I want you to know this because I want you to make the decision, are you gonna be first gen? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Please understand something. My dad made 60 grand a year as a chemist, okay? When I started, I was 18 years old, I started as a car salesman because the barrier of entry to get in was really low. I made straight D's in school, I stuttered, I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't believe in myself, my dad said get a job and stay out of jail, and everybody told me I was gonna be a loser. I was raised poor, I was the kid that literally growing up, like I had friends and they had money, they were cool kids, but like when their parents came home and was like, oh, let's all go out to eat, like they dropped the poor kid off and then all the other friends went to go eat because you could tell that I was poor. Like, dude, I knew, what it, I knew the way people looked at me, but I knew there was going to be a point in time in one day in my life in which I was going to get an opportunity. I'm going to tell you guys, just so you're aware, if you're looking at this position, this opportunity right now, it's like, oh, we're in alarm cells. So you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You have an opportunity in front of you in which you, could, you can earn six figures. You can earn mid six figures. You can earn high six figures. You can earn seven figures. Dude, you can totally recreate your life and be with a group of people right now that actually care about you changing and becoming a winner and make money, which is priceless. You guys can do all this. All I asked God for at 18, I said, man, would you just give me a way out? Just like, I don't want to, I don't want this life no more. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like me. So 18 years old, I got a job selling cars. I'm going to tell you this. Everybody in my family goes, he's a car salesman. We knew he was going to end up a car salesman. I want to tell you guys something. I made 125 grand my first year. I made 225 the next year. I made 500 grand by the time I was 20 years old. And I made 800 by 22. I want to tell you something. I was making 800 grand. I literally had a badass house, badass car, badass boat, badass toys, had money in the bank, was living my life. And they still laughed they're still gonna laugh at you. You know why? Because the people that are with you currently in your life now aren't gonna support you never. They love you, they want to keep you safe. They love you, they want you to go to go, get security. Screw security. I don't want security. You live in a time right now, guys, it's 2024. You guys live in an era where this universe will pay you whatever you're worth. Notice I said, whatever you're worth. What are you worth? What do you know? How well can you speak? What is your energy like? What is your attitude? Everybody write this down. The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. Can you correct today? Can you correct? What is your problem? Are you fat? Do you speak with a slur? Do you not look at people in the eyes? Do you not have confidence? Are you unattractive? Hey, listen, if you're ugly in this room, I'm cool with it, but you gotta get in shape. It's the only way you're gonna be attractive. Dude, listen, man, you gotta look like you're somebody of authority. Do you guys get me? You gotta do it, okay? Like, I'm looking at you, how old are you? 24 years old. You're not in very good shape, are you? Do you know why? You've been around the wrong people. The people that you've been around didn't tell you that being in shape was even important. Does that make sense? Now, you probably knew that getting in shape was, you know, kind of important. You like chicks, right? You wanna be attractive, right? You want to look in the mirror and you want to like you, right? You want to make a lot of money? Okay, you want people to believe in you? Do you believe in people that are in shape or people that are out of shape? This is all common sense, am I right? In here, you guys, you got to look like you're a killer, but be loving. You guys got to show people. I want when you're around people, people like, dude, I always wanted a friend like this. I always wanted a friend that was in good shape. When you guys saw Aaron, were you like, dude, I like Aaron. Would you like Aaron if he was a big fat guy up here? You guys are dicks. I'm going to tell Aaron that you really don't like him, but since he was in shape, you like him. You guys see what I'm saying? Do you guys get it? Aaron walks in, he's all jacked up. You're like, dude, I like that guy. Why? You don't, you don't even know him yet. Because you guys judge people from the second you look at him. This is why you guys got to listen to me right now. Dude, I'm giving you the cold, hard truth how to win. It's up to you. You're skinny, right? 
You're skinny. It's just the truth, dude. You don't have to stay skinny, man. Dude, you work out for one year as hard as hell. Eat right. Stay focused. Dude, go to sleep on time. Wake up early. Do everything. Your body's going to change. Everything's going to change, dude. That's the beautiful thing about human beings, dude. They're so resilient. Dude, my family, you guys in here can break your bloodline. I need you to understand this. Everybody write down, reprogram. I said the person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. I, I thought about doing sales training with you guys today, but it's not worth it. I can give you guys some information that's going to totally change your life that's going to make everybody say yes to you. Okay? When you're standing on somebody's porch and you're doing what he told you to do and you're doing what I tell you to do on how to become this person, you're going to get a yes because they're going to believe in you. People need to look at you and they need to say, this guy's got his shit together. Okay, so do me a favor. Some of you in here, like he's got crazy hair, right? Right? Listen, when you go knock on somebody's door, they might not like you with crazy hair. It's just the truth. This is a time right now where you got to be like, hey, dude, like, I know I have crazy hair, and I think that's cool, but you're not going to be a YouTuber, okay? Unless that's what you want to do. You're going to be knocking on doors. These people are going to open the door, and they may say, oh, I don't like crazy hair. So now they won't even listen to your message. They won't listen to how you can help them because you got crazy hair. And you may say, well, I'm going to be me, and I'm cool with that. You could probably go knock doors, but you got to be ultra confident, bro. You got to knock the door to you like, hey, man, I know the hair is going to throw you off. Listen to me. This is why I do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is why I do it, okay, for like cancer awareness. You know what I'm saying? I want people to ask me about my hair so I can tell them about cancer awareness. It's a trick I use. Now they're like, oh, I like you even more. They don't know, like, what's it for? Is it for because you're young? Because they're going to think, like, this kid's out partying or something. Now he's knocking on my door. Like, there's got to be some value to it. And I'm saying, I'm just telling you the truth, right? Like, dude, like, people are pre this world's not fair, okay? Like, that's why you got to have the unfair advantage, which is what I'm giving you in this room. Your goal is to be a leader. So everybody write down rule number one on being a leader. is to self-lead. Underline self. To be a leader, you have to lead yourself before I'll let you lead me. Do you guys want to lead people through the cell so they can say yes and then you can, you can sign them up? Yes. You can't lead them if they don't think that you're capable of leading yourself. You guys get it? Yes. You got facial hair? Yes. Better be tight. You got hair on your head? Better look good. You got eyebrows? Better pluck that shit. Make sure your shit looks smooth. You got eyes? You better make sure you got eye drops. Make sure you clean the crusties out of your eyes. You got a shirt on? Make sure you don't have food on it. I I'm just telling you, at the end of the day, by the way, you don't have to be anybody else. I'm still letting you be you. I wear short shorts, dude. People crack. They're like, dude, this guy's shorts are so short. Dude, listen to me. I'm so confident in who I am. I can run around naked and close people. I don't even care. So I want you to feel that way and you to run your way. Does that make sense? But I also want you to like become who you need to become so you can run that way. Dude, the eyes are the window to the soul. When I look at a lot of your eyes, I'm like, dude, you're lost. You're hoping that this is going to change your life when this isn't going to change your life. You're going to change your life. You're in charge of changing your life. Now, you have an opportunity like I had at 18 in a company that wants you to not only make money, but also wants to self-develop you and make you become a good person. Dude, Brandon, the reason why I do this with Brandon and why I wouldn't do this with anyone else is because Brandon has such a good heart. Brandon has plenty of money. He doesn't do this for money. Matter of fact, Brandon, is, his wife's at home saying, why are you doing this? We need you at home. Why are you with all these strangers and all these people? And why are you trying to build this again? He already, he already built an eight-figure uh, alarm company and sold it. Why would he build it again for the people? He's a leader. He loves seeing people win. I want to give you guys a secret. And you guys may not understand it until later in life. But if you're mature enough to understand it now, you just changed your whole life. You became the most dangerous person in the world. So once upon a time, there was a guy who was broke. This guy was me. I had a big hole in my heart, okay, basically, and I felt empty. I literally, uh, my mom left when I was two. She's a loser. She's a crackhead. She's an alcoholic. I'm nothing like her. Not a victim story. She's a piece of shit. I have five brothers and sisters. There's a Jerry Springer show growing up. Kids raising kids. Having sex way too young. Doing stupid shit. Doing drugs in elementary school. I mean, dude, nobody's around. Where's the mom? Where's the dad? Where's the love? Where's... Some of you may be like, dude, I have great parents. My kids have great, great parents. 
Okay, but that wasn't my story. So some of you guys in here, you've had some crazy stuff happen, dude. I know people that have been abused. I know people that have had crazy crap happen. I know, dude, you guys all have your own story. But I wanna tell you guys, as I sit here, I had this hole in my heart and I thought if I made money, I thought like all the time that people made fun of me and all the time that I was, you know, like dude, I used to, I'd ask my dad, I'd like, hey, can I have $5 to go down to, there was this place called Frontier City growing up, it's like an amusement park. Like, you know, so I can go down to this amusement park with my friends. And he's like, dude, you know we ain't got five bucks. So I would have to jump the fence. So I would ride with the parents, with the kids, seventh grade. They're all like walking in like normal people. And then I ditch around the side. Dude, I'm a kid. I would go and climb the barbed wire fence and jump in. Dude, do you think those parents saw me? They knew what I was doing. I didn't even go through the line with them. Dude, but I was like, I'm going. Like, like I don't like that. That's not who I was, but I wanted to just be a part of everything. I wanted to fit in. I want to tell you, the greatest thing that ever happened is I didn't get to fit in. I learned later in life that my greatest thing, that some of you in here, if you haven't fit in, this is your time. This is your time. And if you have a crazy story, people love that. Dude, listen, if you've had a perfect life growing up and you're just a really good leader, what story are you going to tell people about all the life lessons you've learned? You don't have any to tell. I've got millions to tell. I should be dead a thousand trillion times. I'm not. So what does that mean? I'm supposed to give you a message. I want to tell you guys how to be rich in your heart without money. That's what this is about. And if you can do that, you'll be a leader. And people will want to be around you, and then you can get rich in your wallet. You guys, all you do for a living, write this down, you help people help themselves. That's all you do. Nobody in here has to sell anything to anybody. Okay? Now, I will tell you how to persuade, which is when somebody doesn't understand something, I will show you how to influence and persuade them to get them to understand by painting pictures, telling stories, selling ideas, selling situations, I will show you how to get your point across well. But that's your job. Your job is to help people help themselves. And by the way, have people already made a decision that they want their family to be safe? Yes or no? Yes. Are you even asking them to make a decision? No. They've already made it. Say, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I'm here to help you with the decision that you've already made. I just noticed that you didn't have an alarm set up. You've already made a decision that you wanted to protect your family all the days of their life. Am I correct? You already made a decision that I'm sure your family's first and it's the most important thing to you over your job, your career, and everything in between. So I just don't see an alarm on this place, which is a little bit concerning. So at the end of the day, life is uncontrollable. We can't control what's going to happen, but what we can control is I can have an alarm on this house and your family can sleep like a baby at night. And in the event something happens, it will scare anybody and everybody on, out of here and alert the authorities within seconds. If you had to write a check for what your family's safety was worth, you probably couldn't write the check, could you? But if you could, it'd have to be worth at least $49. Let's get this set up, guys. I'm not selling you. This is the truth. You guys hear me? When you guys hang around me, you'll learn the reason why I get everything that I want is because I don't sell anybody. I tell the cold, hard truth. And people, they can't deny the truth because it's real. That's why you don't have to be slimy, sleazy. You don't have to play tricks. You can just tell them. Say, guys, I'm here to talk about a decision that you already made. You already made a decision that you want your family safe and protected. Would you agree? Yes. Yes, they can't say, no, I want them, I want them hurt. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Okay, well, I noticed there wasn't an alarm on the property. And if there was one, I wouldn't be here. And if you have an alarm on the property, but it's not too new 2024 AI technology like the one that we use, well, that's a problem too. Because we got to make sure that it's fully functioning and effective in the right way. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. See? So I'm going to take that alarm company out, or I'm going to put an alarm on, but if anybody has somebody that they care about in that home, and if I knock on your door and you're like, it's just me, and I don't have a wife, and I don't have kids, okay, cool. Hey, if you don't want to be safe, then you don't have a family, and that's totally cool, and I love that. You know, hey, I like being a risk taker. No big deal. I'll move on to the next house. But if there's someone else living in this house other than you, and you can write their name on a piece of paper, I assure you, your job is to protect that person. And that's what I'm here to talk about. You guys got me? Yes. Is this easy? Yes. This is easy. When you guys learn from me, I'm going to make you the most dangerous son of a bitches on planet Earth. I mean it. I will show you. Listen, by the way, are you guys going to have relationships? Yes. 
You pay attention to what I teach you, you will run those relationships and make them great, and you will get whatever you want. Are you guys going to have friends? Yes. Okay, you want to be the follower or the leader? Leader. Good, I'll show you how to be the leader. You'll lead every one of these conversations. You'll never end up doing anything stupid, and you'll be the leader of your pack, and if you're not, you'll find a new pack because they ain't the right people for you. I will show you how to get whatever you want in life and not manipulate in a bad way. Like, oh, I'm so good. This guy taught me how to get whatever I want. Not for bad, for good, okay? Trust me, dude. Guys, the stuff I'm going to show you will help you with everything in your life. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay? So... There's this hole in my heart. I realized if I made all this money, I was going to do great. So, and by the way, I want to tell you something. I don't care what anybody told you you think that you can make in this company. You can make whatever you want. Okay, if Brandon even tells you, hey, my top rep makes this, I don't care. You can still do whatever you want. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, when I started selling cars, they told me the top salesman in the country made, this is 1999, made about 120 grand. So, because that's what I thought, I had that envision in my head, I was programming myself that if I gave all my efforts, that could be the money I could make. Well, when I was 19, I had a new manager come in and he goes, dude, that's a lie. I made 225 selling cars in Georgia. And I was like, dude, show me your pay stub. And the guy went to his glove box, pulled it out, showed me his pay stub. Sure enough, the guy made 225 grand. 19 years old, I made the same money because that dude programmed me. At 19, at a young age, I want to tell you this, I'm not very book smart, but I'm super street smart. I realized that whatever I thought was going to happen was going to happen. I realized that all the times I've been in a fight, anytime that I thought about someone else knocking me out or me getting hurt, I always got hurt and I always got knocked out. But anytime I was so sure that I was going to beat this dude's ass, I whooped that dude. I learned that when I wrestled, if I even envisioned that person choking me out, I always got choked out. But I envisioned when I wrestled somebody, if I was like, dude, you don't want to wrestle with me, dude, I'm going to smoke you. And I didn't think about anything except for smoking them, I realized that I got it. I realized that going and picking up a chick, no matter how hot they were or whatever, right? If there was some, if there was some ugly chick and you were going to go pick her up, would you be afraid? No, what if she was like super hot though, like 20, 11, like just, oh my God, like one to 10, she's an 11. You would overthink it. But if she was ugly, you wouldn't, you'd be like, I can pull that. Come on, man. This is easy. I, it's all the same. Because when you go up to the hot one that one to 10, she's an 11, and you treat it like it's easy and you're cool, she's like, dude, I like this guy. I ain't afraid of nothing. That's how you pull the 11. It's all here. It's all here. You guys got to realize fear is what kills you. Overthinking is what kills you. There's this thing in your head called the amygdala. I better write this down. You want to study this. A-M-Y. I'm going to tell you how to spell it, A-M-Y-G-D-A-L-A. -A -A. It's called the amygdala, A-M-Y-G-D-A-L-A. -A. It creates diseases in your head. It, it makes stories up, fake stories. It tells you lies to keep you safe, to make you stay the same. It will make you sick if you let it. But once you understand that the amygdala, a.k.a. the resistance, why you would go do it, oh my, I just got rejected at three doors. I don't know. I don't want to go. That's the amygdala, bro. The amygdala lives on your spine. You guys need to research this. It is real. Every time you go to create a better life for yourself, that amygdala, it tells you, you can't do it. This is stupid. You have nothing to prove to everybody else. I don't know why you're doing this. This is the dumbest thing you've ever thought of. You're not capable of it. You're not worthy. You're not qualified. You're not good at this. These people are better than you. They're smarter than you. It runs your head. But if you can listen to me right now, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. And when that amygdala starts to pipe up, you tell it to shut its mouth. Because I want you to understand something. This is, where you get, this is where you go from being a weak ass baby to a savage. When you tell that amygdala, which, by the way, if you make it go through this, what you're about to go through and go do, if you make it and you tell it, we're going to do this, and you don't waver, you're unrealistic, and there's no negotiations, it's a non-negotiable, guess what happens? That amygdala will fight for you till the death. It's your best friend, but you guys have been allowing it to run you. You start running it, it will kill for you. And so now I tell my amygdala, I'm like, dude, we're going to do this. And once it realizes, because it has to go through it with you, <laughs> I, gotta go, I gotta go hit on this chick, I'm just giving an example that, I'm a, that I know is way above my rank. 
but I'm not afraid. Come on, man. We're going to go knock this down. We're going to go lock this up. We're going to go shut that door down. I got this, man. Every door I knock on, everybody says yes. You can't open the door and tell me no. It's physically impossible. Once you start to become delusional like this, everybody buys. And everybody's attracted to you. Because they're like, I don't know what it is about this guy, but I just, like, it's like you're in charge. That's it. Without telling them you're in charge. You go from being ugly and weak to attractive and strong and people wanting you when you're in control of your life and you believe in you. Do you guys get me? Yes. This is the secret, guys. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.